really amazing. Um, I was kind of worried because of all the clouds, and I was kind of worried that we wouldn't be able to see the eclipse, but we got to see it, so. Yes, we did. A day that little girl and many of us will not soon forget. We witnessed the first coast-to-coast -coast total eclipse of the sun in nearly 100 years. And it spanned all the way from Oregon to South Carolina. Welcome in tonight. I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. Millions of people flocked to that 70 mile wide path of totality where others watched it from home or from work. Tonight, we have team coverage of the eclipse and how it impacted the lives of young and old, beginning with Storm Track meteorologist Nate Harrington, who is in McMinnville, Tennessee. And Nate, you got a chance to see a total eclipse there. Uh, just unbelievable. I have no words to describe what I saw today, and I feel like some of those kids back in Birmingham that got to see just the partial eclipse, I felt like a kid watching that total eclipse. It was definitely worth the hype, and it was just a moment I'll never forget, and also a moment that folks from Alabama who came to McMinnville, Tennessee, won't ever forget either. McMinnville, Tennessee became sweet home to many Alabamians descending on this small city for the solar eclipse. But this is a rare opportunity of my life. And what a spectacular moment they witnessed. The horizon looks like it's twilight. Oh my gosh, and here you go. They started staking their spots early this morning, looking for the best area to view history. Great day as the dark side of the moon starts to shadow the sun. And as Darth Mayor, we welcome everyone to the dark side. Hoover, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, all represented here as the eclipse made its way. We've got what's called a diamond ring formation. It looks like a diamond ring with just a glint of sun and we've reached totality. We've reached totality in McMinnville. The gracious hosts in Rocky Top Country welcomed Central Alabama with open arms, and Mother Nature provided the perfect day to take in a moment none will forget. But we can see stars. It looks like sunset. Can you say awesome, incredible, uh, life changing? And we're looking straight up at the sun being eclipsed by the moon. The chill in the air, the, the semi darkness, it was amazing. The 2017 blackout solar eclipse. It's just awesome. Tennessee style. Oh my gosh, uh, looking at the faces, the crowd, everybody looking up. And now the, the sun's starting to come up. The sun's starting to come back from behind the moon now. The moon's moving away, and it's really going to uh, lighten up here pretty quickly. Could you tell I was excited? I don't know if you could tell from, uh, from what uh, we gathered for today, but just an awesome experience. I couldn't say enough about all the work uh, that uh, Toby, our photog, and Scott McDowell put into, uh, to into our work for uh, today. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to have a, uh, another report of some folks that traveled near and far. We're talking across the Atlantic Ocean to see this eclipse here in McMinnville today. And live in McMinnville, I'm Nate Harrington, CBS 42 News. It's local eclipse coverage you can count on.